I published this radio in December 2022. And I will give the link to the reception results in the description. It's a very, very simple shortwave radio. Here you see the antenna coil. You can see that the windings are made of copper wire isolated by a certain plastic layer. The um, internal copper wire is one millimeter and combined with the plastic uh, it's say approximately two millimeters or so and I will tell more about that in this video. Here is the tuning capacitor that tunes here the antenna coil. It is in fact a uh, trimmer here, green trimmer. It goes from say zero picofarad up to approximately 50 picofarad. And I've used by purpose a trimmer because perhaps um, a real tuning capacitor going from zero picofarad or one picofarad to approximately 50 picofarad is very expensive. So that's the reason why I, by the way, made this whole circuit on this board. Everything is, say, flat mounted. Anyway, here is also a, a very important part of the circuit. That is the local oscillator. And here is that local oscillator. And I've made it by purpose with this ferrite rod that can move inside and outside the coil here by doing this. It's extremely primitive but uh, in the 1940s, 1950s, uh, American military radios used in World War II were uh, also used this principle. It's a classic principle uh, with the ferrite rod. We give that coil a higher inductance, but the good thing of such a ferrite rod is also that it gives a very precise uh, inductance. And that is relevant for uh, making the radio stations to receive the radio stations on shortwave. Anyway, more in the schematic that I will show within a few minutes. Here is again such a trimmer that parallels the local oscillator coil and perhaps interesting to show is that the local oscillator even without a coupling capacitor to the so-called mixer circuit uh, strays out enough energy to make the radio work. Anyway, uh, I found for an ID that I had to use, say, um, a coupling capacitor into the mixer, and the mixer is here. It's this BF199. Um, NPN high frequency silicon transistor with an amplification effect uh, factor in the order of 70 or 80 anyway and well um, the local oscillator is mixed in on the 455 kilo cycles ceramic filter and then it is amplified and say the amplitude mod modulation is detected here in this transistor. It goes to the volume control, etc. etc. Oh, well, uh, there is another amplifying stage and in the schematic, schematic that is very good visible. So, two amplifier stages, and then after all, we have the LM. 
386 that does the audio amplification job. And finally we have here the loudspeaker, of course. That was more or less all to tell about this uh, say contraption. By the way, important to tell is that this here, this way of making an antenna coil is extremely successful for shortwave. And I want to show the schematic and much more anyway. This is say uh, a coil that can work between approximately 2 mega cycles and approximately 10 or 12 mega cycles with a suitable capacitor going from 0 to approximately 500 picofarad. Of course because we have now um, only a tuning capacitor of 0 to 50 picofarad. The frequency band is limited but uh, it means that we are say in an important part of the shortwave radio band and that's between say 6 uh, megahertz and 8 megahertz. So time to look at the schematic. It's here and I hope it's visible from this distance. And I've used by purpose two field effect transistors. They both are the B uh, uh, sorry the BF two five six A. Well, uh, I pan over the circuit somewhat so that you can read what is important. Here an indication about uh, say the indication of how I showed uh, capacitor and resistor values. Here is by the way the decoupling unit and it's a very good idea to say connect here directly from pin 6 where the power supply goes to a 1000 microfarad capacitor and that is when you study the schematic bridge with a 100 nanofarad capacitor. Uh, and well that has everything to do with how the circuit will be made in reality. Here I made it in reality and I used here this uh, thousand here, this thousand microfarad capacitor to give the whole circuit more stabilization. So uh, about the circuit, the audio and amplifier, and I've used here a 10 milli Henry coil. That is this coil. 10 milli Henry and it helps a lot to say um, remove the extreme noise. So it's useful but you can say shortcut it and in that case you have an enormous noise uh, figure at the output of the uh, radio anyway. And here you see two more or less the same uh, amplifier circuits, both made with a BC547. Standard solution is 1K here in the collector lead and 220K from the collector to the base. And then you can say uh, send in any uh, signal and it will be amplified to its maximum because the BC547 or another NPN transistor does not have an emitter resistor. And in general the amplification is set 
by the relation between the collector resistor and the emitter resistor. Anyway, I've used it here and I've used it here. Here it is connected to the uh, filter of 555 kilo cycles. Perhaps it's more interesting to tell that this is a very easy and simple superheterodyne radio. Here we have the first antenna amplifier, the high frequency amplifier. Here we have the local oscillator. The local oscillator sends its signal via a teen 10 picofarad capacitor here to the collector of the mixer transistor. Uh, and here the field effect transistor receives all the radio signals uh, dependent of course on the tuning here to certain radio stations on shortwave and then via the source it is sent this, am this amplified uh, high frequency radio station is sent through the 100 nanofarad capacitor and you see, you see here bridges to the base of the mixer and that mixer has its bias sent set by 27k and 10k so that it works properly but important to tell that make the the power supply to the mixer the voltage to the mixer and to the uh, first stage the field effect transistor with the antenna coil uh, can be regulated with the help of this one kilo ohm potentiometer so you set when you turn this you set the mixer to its working point to its bias and you also set the high frequency uh, amplifying field effect transistor to its right bias so that's what happening what's happening here here when you tune this and this must be tuned the 1k potentiometer into the middle position and in that case everything works nice I've sorted it out find it out so the mixer works okay and here this HF high frequency field effect transistor the BF256A also works okay so that was more or less all to tell thanks for watching let's listen again perhaps also interesting to tell uh, this is the antenna coil seven windings seven windings turns here you can uh, search choose a, a capacitor that makes it possible to get the more selectivity so antenna is four meter indoor and you can uh, connect it via this uh, 12 picofarad capacitor um, 22 picofarad capacitor or 15 picofarad capacitor that has an effect on the radio reception more information about the antenna coil um, well think it was all um, you, you tune the local oscillator, it's done by moving this ferrite rod here in and out. That's very important. So, the schematic again, and then I will put the camera down. Thanks for watching. Let's listen a little bit to what this radio can bring. More information in the earlier video. Thanks for watching.
chances, bro. 